All right, hello, uh, Silly here. I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial on the flashing the Mercutio with uh, Bongo Cat or other firmware. Um, so this is assuming it's fully built with uh, stock firmware, nothing like crazy on it so far. I've had this one for a while, uh, and I haven't used it in a while, so forgive me if I, uh, I'm off a tiny bit on things, but I'll correct as I go. So we can see that when I plug this in, it quickly shows a Mercutio changes so it says numlock on it you'll see a refresh issue with that that's just a uh, the way that it works with the um with the camera and the oleds so the first thing i'm going to do because this is on the default we want to put it on bongo cat um, we're assuming that when you put it into bootloader mode using the um boot magic key either doesn't work or I can show that really quickly here. What we're gonna do is I have QMK toolbox here. Um, I'm going to, uh, this is version 020, just released a couple days ago. So if, you, if this looks a little different to you, then go and update uh, so that we can have the same version. So what I'm gonna do is just hold this tab key when I, while I plug it in you'll see that it actually comes up. Uh, you might need to let go of it. You'll see it comes up as connected. Now this is in bootloader mode, so we can actually flash it. Um, I'm going to flash it with, uh, I'll flash it with the Vile firmware now so we can see it before and after. Okay. So that's if you want to use the bootloader key when you hold that in. But let's say you accidentally put the wrong firmware on So this is done. Uh, you will notice that um, on the thing, there's nothing on the screen and it isn't responsive right now. Uh, once you flash it, you need to unplug it and plug it back in and it'll start load up. It'll load up with the new firmware. Um, so uh, we are, we have vile firmware now, so it's not actually, it might work with the boot manager if I go by the set but let's assume that we can't use the boot magic key for whatever reason. First thing you're going to do is unplug it. Then you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to remove this guard, the acrylic guard that's on it. Guards removed uh, with those three screws. Now the things that we need to pay attention to right now are these two buttons right here uh, next to the microcontroller. Now those two buttons, you'll see that the bottom one is labeled boot and the top one is labeled reset. Okay, so when we plug this in, see it's still in the vial mode. Now what I'm gonna do is we're going to show the uh, QMK window. Uh, we see it's disconnected. That was after I um, unplugged it and replugged it in from the last one. Uh, in fact, I'm going to close this and open up a new one so we can see it uh, fresh, ready to go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, find, uh, you guys can't see it right now, but I am choosing a file. I'm going to grab... The uh, Bongo Cat hex, that's a popular one. So it's on my desktop, but it's mechwild underscore Mercutio underscore Bongo Cat. So it typically goes maker, keyboard name, and then uh, what the name of the firmware is itself. And it's a hex file. You're going to make sure that this is on 328p. Uh, this drop down right here needs to be on 328p. Uh, it usually, like a lot of times, it'll default to 324. Um, but 328p is what we need. Now we're gonna select auto flash just for convenience here. And what we're, we're gonna do now is these two buttons, while that's plugged in, we're gonna hold the bottom button and then we're gonna tap the top button. And then we're gonna let go of the bottom button. You'll see how it, it went in a bootloader mode here. Um, so it didn't auto flash, so I'm gonna click flash right here Make sure it happens. Okay, flash complete. 
So now um, I'm going to get rid of that. We'll see it still has the screen up like it's the, uh, the vial firmware. So what we need to do is unplug, plug it back in. And you see Bongo Cat is now here on the screen, ready to party with you guys. All right. Um, all you got to do from that point is put the guard back on. I typically don't put screws in while it's plugged in, uh, just for the sake of safety. I won't, like, work on the boards while it's plugged in. God knows I would, uh, like, slip and, and connect something that doesn't need to be connected. Put this in, plug it back in, and we've got Bongo Cat ready to type. All right, I hope this was informative. Thanks.